trip to our neighbouring country started off in Zimbabwe. After a short flight of two hours and a quick 20 minute bus transfer, we arrived in the quaint town of Victoria Falls. Here, we stayed in a lovely place called the Kingdom Hotel. It's quite a big hotel with a lovely pool area. After exploring the hotel, we went to the Victoria Falls, which was a 10 minute walk. Arriving at the falls, we were lucky enough to see this rainbow, which went down all the way to the bottom of the canyon. Falls are spectacularly beautiful, no matter from which angle you view them. They simply take your breath away. took some ponchos with us because you get soaking wet from the mist spray the falls give off. Next to the falls is a nice forest-like path that you need to walk in order to see the great extent and magnificence of the falls. tremendous amount of water falling down can only be described as heavenly. And how was that? Wet. Wet? Wet. I can imagine. got a perfect perspective of the Victoria Falls Bridge which joins Zimbabwe to Zambia. We found it interesting that there are virtually no barriers to stop you from going over the edge.
All in all, it was a fantastic afternoon that we got to spend at the falls. Next morning, we set off on the same route back to the falls, but this time to walk across the bridge, take in the beautiful scenery, and of course, to look at some people doing the bungee jump. There's also a speedboat ride that you can go on that takes you up close to the falls. afternoon we walked a bit through the town. And of course we had to go for a cool down in the gorgeous pool. Late afternoon, we set off to go on a lovely sunset boat cruise on the Zambezi River. Thanks yourself. Thank you so much. It was unlimited drinks included, so we definitely made use of the opportunity and enjoyed a couple of nice brandies. The cruise was calm and relaxing as it slowly went down the Zambezi. back up the river, we got to experience one of the most beautiful African sunsets we have ever seen. The next day we said bye to Zimbabwe as we travelled to Zambia. <laughs> As you can see, we had the warmest welcome once we arrived at the Royal Livingston, which was to be our home for the next two days. So where are we now, Johan? In Zambia, <laughs> the Royal Livingston. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful place. Nice place, eh? The Royal 
Livingston is a five-star hotel situated right next to the Zambezi River and within walking distance to the Victoria Falls. The hotel also hosts a small cultural village where arts and crafts made by the locals can be bought. There is also some wildlife roaming freely on the property. From the Zambia side, you get a wonderful different perspective of the Victoria Falls Bridge and of course the falls itself. Camera doesn't think, do it justice. This right. is just so amazing. The eyes are just better than cameras, it's better. This is like Jurassic Park. What's really nice about viewing the falls from the Zambian side is that you get really close to the falls and get to experience the full grandeur the stunning site has to offer. That rainbow was absolutely stunning. After getting soaking wet from the falls, we explored more local craft markets. That afternoon, we enjoyed some sundowner drinks on the deck next to the river. Again, we saw another beautiful sunset. For dinner, we tried the hotel's fine dining restaurant.
the next morning, after a scrumptious breakfast, we headed back to the falls. The path down to the bottom had loads of baboons looking for something to eat. admit I was a bit scared to walk past them. Walking through this jungle-like terrain made me feel like we were in the movie Gorillas in the Mist. After a long hike, we finally made it to the bottom. We liked the views at the top so much we went back again, this time without the fear of our cameras getting wet. Naturally, we had to try and get some drone footage as well. holiday isn't a holiday if there's no swimming involved. Inside a big boma with entertainment from local dancers is where we enjoyed dinner that evening.
on day 5 of our trip, we headed from Zambia to Botswana. Here we had to take a boat to cross the border. Arriving on the Botswana side, we had a game drive vehicle pick us up and take us to Chobe Bush Lodge where we stayed for two days. The lodge is situated next to the Chobe River and of course the Chobe National Game Park. In town, we saw these two warthogs challenge each other. We also visited the big burbab situated inside the police station grounds. set off to go on a game drive inside Chobe National Park. sighting we came across was an elephant carcass lying on the ground with vultures swooping down. Mid-morning, we stopped for a coffee break. The rangers from the other vehicles told us that they saw two lions about 200 meters away from where we were having our coffee. We didn't spot the lions, but instead saw loads of buffalo. It was a great game drive, although we wished we saw a bit more animals. safari on the Chobe River. Here we 
we saw what Chobi is famous for, loads and loads of elephants. Big and small, all enjoying the lovely water and mud. some buffalo and hippos grazing on the lush green grasslands. Another perfect sunset on a perfect day while spent in the calm of nature. And so our adventure came to an end. made our way back to Zimbabwe and back to the airport. Thanks Vic Falls and Chobi and thanks for watching.